Hi guys, it's Hanny from Eclipse Hall Sports and I just wanted to bring you another quick Kipax Cricket Bat review. So today we're going to be looking at the Kipax Players Edition Genesis in the blue sticker colourway. So we'll start off with Cricket Bat number one. So these are new stickers for 2019, really nice looking bats as well, nice grains. We'll just try and count these grains up for you. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine grains. All sapwood, beautiful looking, nice white willow. You've got big edges on this one, 39mm edge, around a 61mm spine, so not massive spine, but you're getting a good even spread of weight all the way across the blade, nice thick shoulders as well. And if you look down that spine, this is the Colossus shape, which has got the concaved back. So the Pro Blade, which we did in the last video, that's got the full back. And it's got the duckbill profile on the Pro Blade. This one's got more of a rounded off spine into the toe. So that spine just extends further down into the toe and you've got a really thick toe as well. So the bat is very thick all the way along and the grains are really nice on this one. And these stickers have got all nice bits of texture in. And yeah, they look really cool. So talking about the grip, you've got a diamond dimple style grip. And again, it's slightly square at the right at the bottom and then feels more semi-oval just where you would probably grip it. And you've got this ripple style Wavex handle design. And basically that is to prevent energy being lost up through the handle in the form of uh, vibrations, which then travel up into your hands and can be quite uncomfortable. So this wave design or ripple design bounces those vibrations back down into the blade and transfers any of that power that might have been lost through the handle back into the blade and into the cricket ball. So you get a maximum amount of power into your shot. So yeah, lovely shape. We'll have a look at the bow. You're getting a decent bow down towards the toe. Face again is flat and these edges are going to need rounding. Uh, slightly rounded on the toe. If you have a look at the grains through the toe, they're pretty good. Nice and even, fairly straight, not perfectly straight, but very good. Really thick toe as well. This bat, incidentally, is weighing £2.9, ounce, and that includes the scuff sheet and edge tape, which adds about half an ounce. So you would be looking at two eight and a half without the scuff sheet and edge tape. So it's a light bat. We'll see how it picks up, and then we'll give it a tap with the ball. So with that concave in, and that slightly shorter blade as well. Uh, the overall length of these Kipax bats seems to be about a centimetre shorter. So you've got a standard uh, short handle handle, uh, a slightly shorter blade and the overall length is a little bit shorter. Um, so balance and pickup wise, it feels really light in the hands. 2.9 it probably feels maybe 2.75. It feels really light. It comes through the shots, cuts and pulls, no problem at all with this bat. So if you're looking for something light, but it's got plenty of power, then I would suggest taking a closer look at this particular bat. The ping is fantastic. Really just fly, guys. The pressing on the Kipak bats is excellent. Very consistent. You're not gonna get a bad performing Kipak bat. We went down to the factory, we went through loads of bats and they all pinged really well. And this one is no exception. Absolutely flies. This is a dog old cricket ball, guys. You probably wouldn't even use this for throwdowns. That's how old it is. So people have been saying new balls, they ping regardless what the quality of the bat is. But this is a dog old ball and the ball is absolutely flying. So it just shows you the quality of the bats. Um, so yeah, that's cricket bat number one. We'll move on to cricket bat number two. So cricket bat number two. Again, this is one that I came back to a few times. Uh, I found myself picking it up and not wanting to put it down. I really like the pickup and I really like the performance. Uh, the grains, you're getting plenty of grains. I'll try and count them up for you. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten grains on this particular one. You're getting nice straight even grains here in the sapwood. And then you've got a little bit of colour there. But yeah, really nice looking bat. You're looking at a 36mm edge and a 62mm spine and this is a pro blade design. So the pro blade is a full back, no wood taken out, convex profile shape with that duck bill toe. Spine again is up into the handle, nice square blocky feel right at the bottom but just where you grip it it's a nice semi-oval feel. 
Um, these handles, incidentally, they've all got a single rubber insert. Uh, the inserts in handles are normally there to prevent vibrations in the handle, but obviously with the Wavex design, they feel that they don't need as many rubber inserts as this ripple or wave design prevents that vibration traveling up the handle. So that's the reason it's got one rubber insert. Um, so yeah, lovely bat, lovely shape, nice gentle bow down towards the toe, flat face again. So this one is weighing £2.11 ounce with the sheet on, so two ten and a half without the sheet. So balance and pick up wise, comes through the drives really well. Even up high on the cuts and your pulls, it feels nice and light. And I would say, if I was to pick it up not knowing the weight, I would say it probably feels two nine and a half. It picks up probably a good ounce and a half lighter than the actual dead weight. And again, the old ball, and we'll give it a tap. Yeah, absolutely flies, guys. Yeah, another fantastic bat from Kipax, because that's cricket bat number two. And finally, on to cricket bat number three. Again, really nice grains. This one's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine grains on this one, and a little bit of hardwood on the right hander's outside edge. Again, 36 millimeter edge, 63 millimeter spine, and you can see how even that spine is along the hitting area. That peak spine is very. So you can see how high that spine is now, extended it is across the hitting area. It's very high all the way along and then it swoops down with that duckbill toe but you're still getting very thick profile shape and a nice semi oval field there same setup on the handle nice and full again nice bow and you can see those groins nice and even through the toe and fairly straight as well so yeah another stunning bat this one is 211.4 on the scale so probably just under 211 without the sheet and it picks up really well I would say this one probably feels 210. I'm used to using bats around the 210, and this feels fine for me. So it picks up again around about an ounce and a half lighter than the dead weight. And we'll give it a tap. And yeah, absolutely flies again, guys. It pings everywhere. That's right up there by the sticker. It's absolutely flying. And then, as you come into the middle, Yeah, goes everywhere guys. So that is cricket bat number three. We've got these on a special introductory offer of £289.99. Normal price is £340. So this offer will be running for the first week of us stocking the Kipax bats. So if you would like to pick one up, then do snap it up within the first week and you'll get yourself a nice saving. We're also including free knocking in as well. And you also get a free Kipax back cover and free UK mainland delivery. So fantastic value for money for a grade one English Willow cricket bat, hand made in the UK. Um, so yeah, if you want something a little bit special and you want it made in the UK, then I would highly recommend picking up one of these Kipax cricket bats. So thank you for watching guys, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel already, then please do so. And if you'd like to purchase one of these cricket bats, simply click the link in the description. It'll take you over to the website and you can pick one up today. So until next time, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.